what lessons the Kenyan dairy board can offer to the to the Ethiopian market or Ethiopian dairy sector. The most important lesson I think is government intervention. I think that's one of the key lessons that you can offer. If the government can actively participate in the, dev the development of the dairy, uh, I think it will take off faster. Because capacity building is expensive and um, the farmers find it uh, quite <laughs> tough. So government intervention, I think, is very important. Um, you talked about, somebody asked about the 300 animals that were contributed originally in Ethiopia and why they didn't, uh, the, the industry didn't take over that particular time. Uh, the key, I think, uh, and we, 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 we will look at it again a little deeper, is that uh, maybe the local populations had not been sensitized enough or there were no developed farmers to take up, to, to do the uptake and then uh, teach the rest. In Kenya, we have a lot of farmers teaching other farmers. We have lots of farmer education centers by other farmers. And since that is very practical and the farmer can see what the other one is doing, then I think that is where the takeoff comes in fastest. Uh, as I said, I want to go back to government intervention. The government intervention is very, very important because it ties in with another question, uh, uh, the development of the consumer. In Kenya, the milk, the, um, milk the, the production went up phenomenal, phenomenally when the government started uh, giving free milk to schools, the primary schools, and we have seven million children in primary school. So when the government gave this free milk, it really sensitized the farmers that there is need, and the government had to go out and develop further so that they can get the milk to give to the children. That grew phenomenally. The industry grew phenomenally as a result. So you can see government intervention. You could decide to feed the children, uh, maybe for a year or two. Uh, of, <laughs> you know, or give free milk to I don't know which society, which community. So, something like that. That will uh, spur the, the production almost immediately. But governments find it difficult to sustain that kind of thing. So in Kenya, it found it difficult and it collapsed. <laughs> the scheme collapsed. So now we had to find other ways of uh, uh, rebuilding again uh, the, the consumer. And now we had to go into really serious campaigns. And the government again stepped in and helped us. As, as I said, our presidents have been farmers. And this has uh, also helped a lot. In fact, both um, the, 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 the three presidents, Mr. Mwangi, I think, they have been big farmers. <laughs> Jomo Kenyatta was a, a famous farmer and in fact today the family owns the biggest, the largest uh, milk processing plant, the, the really the largest combined and um, those are the children now. Uh, then um, uh, our current president is a, is a great farmer as well as an economist so he's, he's gone into the marketing of the milk in a very big way. So, the government intervention, in other words, <laughs> and the government example. So, you know, examples from government. A lot of our ministers are also farmers um, and vet, uh, vet officers. So, you see, that those are the areas that will help develop the dairy industry.